Well, because but you got to think about it like. Okay, wait, 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 wait. You said that you don't think he's mentally ill. So then. No, I said that he wouldn't have. Nobody would have. Excuse me. Brought to you by the Officer Tatum Show, the Officer Tatum Show, and the Officer Tatum Store. Uh, all you gotta do is go into the store, man. We got our Fathers Matter merch is back and in full effect. If you guys want any of the coming soon merch, all you gotta do is click on the item, go to Notify Me Made Available. We'll have it available to you. So hats are already sold out. I told y'all the hats are already sold out. You can still click Notify Me Made Available. And my favorite Fathers Matter shirt. Right here, you can click on it. We we ordered a thousand of these shirts, and they're going fast. So you better get it now if you want something for your father on Father's Day. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. All right, we got callers calling in. Michael from uh, Sacramento, California. Hello. Welcome to the Offstatum Show. Hello. Yes, sir. Welcome to the Offstatum Show, Michael. Oh, hi. Hi, yeah, you know, one of the things you keep hearing from people on the right about, you know, gun violence is that it's mental illness is the problem. But that's a problem that could be easily solved and is easily solved almost everywhere else in the world, including in American law enforcement and military, by requiring a psychiatric screening before anybody's allowed to touch a firearm. Well, so let me let me let me pose this question to you, Michael. So, um, do you believe that there are people who still go crazy after passing a psychological evaluation? Well, I, I imagine that's true, yes. So, do you think that that's a proper measure? Because we all know that probably 99.9% .9 of people that buy guns are not struggling with mental illness and will never do anything inappropriate with a gun. Uh, I guess the another question would be: Do you think? How do we know that? How, how do we know that? Because when we look at the shootings, like you, you look at how many guns are in the, circulating in the United States of America, you look at the amount of shooting deaths in the United States of America, and you can argue that the the overwhelming majority of people who own guns are not killing people. Well, that's not really the way to look at statistics, because the overwhelming amount of crime that's committed with guns is obviously committed with guns that are obtained by people who shouldn't have them. So that's sort of but like they may not all be mentally uh, ill, though, you know, right? They may not. Only, well, no, excuse me. Not all right. Let's not get hung up on a statistical analysis. Let's just look at it this way. If the argument is that people who are mentally ill are causing most of the trouble in mass shootings, then the obvious and simple way to prevent that is to screen people before they get guns. Yeah, Michael, I hear you, but I don't really think I, I don't really think that that's a. Uh, I don't really think that that is a a good measure. I don't think it's going to work. Like the shooter in Buffalo, there's no indication that he's mentally ill. It works, it works with the police. Well, because but okay, you got to think about it like. Okay, wait, 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 wait. You said that you don't think he's mentally ill. So then. No, I said that he wouldn't have. Nobody would have. Excuse me. All right, Michael, Thank I'm done you. with you. I'm done with you, brother. Thank you for the call. You're not going to talk over me. It's my show. Get with the program. So uh, what Michael is saying that he want people to be screened for mental illness, I guess, before they buy a gun. And, and the reason why I say that's not going to work is because these people are not getting flagged. Um, the shooter in Buffalo, would he have passed a mental health evaluation? Would the shooter in Uvalde would have pad, passed a mental health evaluation? With the shooter in Tulsa, I don't even think he was crazy. He went crazy. And when you talk about policing in America, you got to think about this. What type of people are signing up for military and police? Not your average person, not the random average Joe. People who are crazy don't want to be police. People who are suffering from mental illness won't even try and attempt to become a police officer. It's because what comes with policing, what comes with service and law enforcement. And many people that may not be crazy, but they may not be, they have a learning disability or different things like that. They're not going to sign up for being a police officer. Half of the country is too scared to be police officers. They're cowards. I mean, I'm going to say they're cowards. I mean, it, it ain't for everybody. But there are people who are not brave enough to become a police officer. So your, your, your spectrum of influence is very tight when you talk about specialized fields. When you talk about a random person going to buy a gun, 
that's not a special unit. That's not a special profession. That's not. There's no obligation. There's no life and death circumstances that you have to put yourself in that many people are afraid to endeavor. So when you're talking about mental illness, I get people may want to say do a mental screening, but who's to say that that's going to stop a person who then goes crazy after they've passed the background check? So anyway, I got one minute. David from San Antonio, welcome to the Off Tatum Show. David, you got you got yes, forty sir. seconds. Okay, as the Romans said, the more laws a society passes, the more corrupt it is. You cannot until you eliminate the black market. You cannot. There will always be guns available to every idiot. I love it, David. Thank you so much for calling in, uh, uh, David. Insightful. I mean, think about this: marijuana is illegal. People still use it. Drinking alcohol under twenty-one is illegal. People still do it. Murder is illegal. People still murder people. Police officers still cutting up. They out there acting up too. And they got to pass a background test and a screening. Back into this this conversation about uh, background checks. A guy named Michael called in and I had to, yeah, I had to kick his butt off because, you know, you can't be rude to me on my show. You must be out of your mind. He probably need a background check coming on my show talking like that. But uh, uh, one of the things I want to bring home and then I'm going to get some callers in is that a, a background check, you have to put it in perspective. This is not fantasy world. This is not like you show up to get a gun and they do a background check in 20 seconds. Who's going to pay for 300 million background checks? Or how many other people? Just say just say 10 million people buy a gun in the next year. Who's going to pay for 10 million background checks? Now, when you do a background check, I did a background check. It was a three-hour of test, and then we had to talk to a counselor. And there's dudes on my department that one of, one of the guys raped a, a, a prostitute was a complete narcissist maniac. How in the world, and he was in the military. How did he get past all those background checks and, and, and still did that? It's because they're not foolproof. And I'm gonna make this, this comment, a caller just dropped off and he made the comment to say, asking somebody to take a mental evaluation to observe a God-given right is wrong. Art from San, Bern San Bernardino had a comment about Michael. Art, welcome to the Austin Tatum Show. Yes, sir, welcome to the Austin Tatum Show. Okay, how you doing? Okay, first time calling your show, and I listened to Michael. I don't know where he was from, and he made kind of a fool out of himself when he uh, failed his own test, the way he was talking to you about right. an evaluation, a, a mental evaluation. And what I think maybe you should have brought up to him was should we get a mental evaluation to buy a car from what happened in Washington, Wisconsin? Okay, you can kill people with cars, too, not just guns. 100%. Art, thank you so Art, thank you so much for the call. 100%. Now, should you get a minimum evaluation before you drink alcohol? Because as a former police officer, most of all the domestic violence situations that I've been in, most of the violent crimes that I see, were people who were drunk. They were drunk off their butts. So do you need a mental evaluation to get alcohol? More people, I would argue, and I, I got to look at the stats because I don't want to make a comment about something I don't really know for a fact, but many people die as a result of vehicle accidents because of drunk drivers. Many people die as abuse and violence because of people getting too much, having too much to drink. You know, you got make this make sense to me.